Settings, settings, settings. YouTube has heaps of videos for Valorant settings and you're maybe confused on which video might be the best. Well, to be honest, most of them are probably the same. Lowering your Valorant settings will only fix 10% of the problem. Most of the time, it's usually your Nvidia settings or Windows configuration, which is causing your game to run badly. So let's try and get that fixed for you. I'm going to split this video into two parts. Firstly, showing the settings that I use on Valorant and then the settings that you can change on the Nvidia control panel and in your Windows settings to help optimize your game for perfect performance. Before this video starts, please bear in mind that this is solely built for people who have Nvidia graphics cards. This probably will not work for AMD users. Alright, so get into the main settings here. You're going to want to be using enemy highlight color on yellow. I don't think there's a difference between Protonopia and Deuteronopia, but that's up to you to check. In my opinion, yellow is just the best color for enemy highlights. Easiest to see. Raw input buffer on. I mean, this is completely up to you. If you don't have a high pulling rate mouse, it's not really great for you, but I mean, either way, it still grabs the input directly from your mouse rather than running it through Windows first. Map rotate on rotate. Keep player centered on. Minimap size max, so it's the easiest to see your minimap in game. Minimap zoom on max. Minimap vision cones on, so you can see the peripheral vision that your character can see or your teammates on the minimap. Show map region names completely up to you. I put always. First person handedness, I would put right. I mean, it's left handed. If, if you're left handed, then go left. Always show inventory off. Player loadouts always visible off. Put these two to off. Show mature content. I mean, I put off. Instability indicators on. Network buffering. Well, if you have a bad internet connection, you might want to put this on maximum or moderate. I put minimum, even though I do have a pretty bad internet connection. I like to use minimum because then there's no actual delay from when you shoot your shots. Show bullet tracers on. Show spectator count on. Use team color for crosshair color. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Hide user interface in game. Obviously keep that off. These are all for kind of um, custom games. Just copy the rest of these settings as you want. For controls, I use different controls for every agent. So creating agent profiles is kind of a good thing to do if you uh, play different characters differently. For example, so if I'm going to play Raze, well, I'm going to use the blast packs on my mouse buttons. Whereas for other characters like Reyna, well, I'm obviously going to use mouse buttons for my devour and dismiss. But then for my blind, I'm not going to use a mouse button. For neon, I use the relay bolt, which is the stun. I use that on a mouse button. Easiest to grab them when you're going fast. It just depends on what you prefer, honestly. Then my default is kind of, I, re I use really default keys in this game. I don't really change it up much. I don't use mouse buttons as much as other people, only for certain characters. Crosshair, well, I use tons of different crosshairs. All different types of crosshairs. If you want one of my crosshairs, come to my Discord. That's where I put them all. Now we get to video, the most important one. So in Valorant, there's lots of different video settings you can put, and sometimes it's different for your computer and what you can handle. So if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to have this at the bottom of your screen on this setting right here, video general. You 1000% want on plus boost, 1000%. You want your latency to be as low as possible. And later in the video, I'm going to get onto the NVIDIA control panel on different kind of settings you don't want to have enabled when you are using this. You want to use this first, but then in the video panel, you don't want to have things such as ultra low latency on. You want it to just be on. You want low latency to be on, but not ultra low latency. The reason why is your FPS will be locked to 225. Now, graphics. I use low everything. This is completely up to you on what you prefer and how you want your game to look, but I use low for every single quality in this game. And you want your multi-threaded rendering to be on so that it's using all of your CPU cores rather than just one of them for rendering the game. Trust me, if you try this game with this off, watch how slow the game will perform. Vignet off, VSync a thousand percent off. You always want VSync off in every game you play. It is horrendous. Anti-aliasing, I use this MSAA four times, but I mean, you can use FXAA, but I just believe that this feels better. It looks a lot 
more jaggedy, but this kind of blurs the edges on characters in game. So I don't really like that. Although it does make it look more smooth, but it's completely up to you. I just use this as it doesn't blur characters. Anisotropic filtering. Well, you can put this to whatever you want. Again, it just it ties in with anti-aliasing, makes the characters look a lot less jaggedy. I'm going to put it on 8x. I believe you should do the same. Improve clarity, off. All of these are going to lower your performance, so put all these to off. Experimental sharpening, off. Bloom, off. Distortion, off. Cast shadows, off. Stats. You can add whatever you want. Me personally, I just use client FPS, but the more you add, the more this is going to lag your game. Yes, these will all appear at the top, but the more that you add, you're going to lose maybe 2 FPS per 1, 3 FPS, something like that. So I just like to keep it simple, have the FPS for my client up there. Audio. Now, with audio, a lot of people like to use HRTF, and I'm a very weird person. I actually don't use HRTF. Maybe because my headset already has some pretty good surround sound built into it. People with a lot lower end headsets will want to use this, but if you do have a high end headset, just try playing the game with HRTF off. Just try it. I know no one's going to agree with me, but just try it, honestly. It works for me. I prefer it way more than using it. When I use it, the game sounds weird and jaggedy and I can't find out where anyone is. So it's up to you. Try it out. If we head over to voice chat, again, these are all kind of your own settings and uh, your input devices is what you're going to use to talk. All of these are about your own same thing that you're going to be normally using, so I wouldn't really change any of this. It's completely up to you. And then that wraps it up for the Valorant settings about. And now we're going to move on to NVIDIA. And that's where you really need to pay attention, because these will really improve the performance of your game. Alright, so coming into the video control panel here, I want to make it abundantly clear. If you do not have a NVIDIA graphics card, you will not be able to do this. Make sure you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you want to figure out how to do that, you want to type run. You want to go to open, type DX Diag, wait for it to open. When you do that, you can check what processor you have. And if you go to display, you'll be able to see what graphics card you have. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you want to then type NVIDIA control panel. You want to open the NVIDIA control panel. And you want to click manage 3D settings. I'm already here. Now, I scale the settings that I use for every game on my computer, so I just do global settings. If you don't want to do that, you want to click program settings and you want to select a program to customize. You can just select Valorant. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using global settings. And these are the settings you're going to want to use. So we're going to be using image scaling off, ambient occlusion off, anisotropic filtering application controlled because we did that in the game settings earlier. FX AA off, gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode application controlled because we did that in game as well. Transparency off, background application max frame rate off, CUDA cores, GPUs all. Sysmum fallback policy, driver default. DSR factors off. You're also going to want this off if you make custom resolutions like stretch res because you won't be able to do it if this is on. Low latency mode. You're going to want this to be set to on. The reason why is because if you set it to ultra and you have VSync enabled or you're also pairing it with NVIDIA Reflex in game, you have the risk of your computer automatically limiting your game to 225 FPS. I'm not sure why it does it, but it's just something it does. So you can set it to on here. Max frame rate off. Monitor technology. This is whether you have a G-Sync display or not, or FreeSync. G-Sync is something that basically limits screen tearing. So FreeSync is limited screen tearing and G-Sync is just an advanced version of that, essentially. So if your game has tears in game, well, this will remove it, essentially, or limit it as much as it possibly can. Multi-frame sampled AA, you want this to off. Open GL GDI compatibility, auto. OpenGL rendering GPU, auto select, power management mode. So this will probably be different on your computer if you haven't been here before. 
you want to click it to prefer maximum performance because the automatic one is optimal power. Preferred refresh rate, highest available, shader cache size, driver default, anisotropic sample, whatever that is, off, negative LOD bias, allow, texture filtering quality, high performance, trilinear optimization on, threaded optimization, auto, triple buffering off, V-Sync off, and then you don't, you don't have to worry about any of these, essentially. Once you've done that, you want to click apply. Now, one last thing we're going to do, well, there's actually two last things we're going to do. If you go to here and you type power management and you click right here to power options, you want to have high performance on and apply. It might ask you to restart. And then you want to go to here and type game mode settings game mode on now you can do extra things here if you go to graphics and you click change default graphic settings you 100% want your variable refresh rate on now I do use both of these off the reason why is because it messes with my recording software but I do believe that it can give you a slight increase on your FPS so if you want to give it a try and you don't really record any of your games give this a try and finally, the last thing you can do is if you press Control, Shift, and Escape on your keyboard, or Control, Alt, Delete, and Open Task Manager. If you go to Details, and you type Valorant, it is this one right here, Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. If you click on it, click Set Priority to High. You can use Real Time, but I wouldn't. I would just click High. This can also make your Valorant perform a lot better in-game as it is now above all the other programs running on your computer currently. And obviously, what you can also do is you can also just close a lot of the things that you have open. You know, you don't really need them, like your browser or maybe your Spotify, you know. You shouldn't really be listening to music when you play, unless you're like, below silver or something, but you know, that's my personal opinion. Alright. But that about wraps up what I've been trying to tell you in this video. If we go to the practice range and we give it a little check on what the FPS is going to be here, I'm going to expect at least over like 400 perhaps. Something along that range. Maybe not because I'm recording, but in my game I do usually get over 300 in a normal game. So yeah, I am recording. Bear that in mind. I'm recording with OBS currently, but as you can see, we have got above 300 FPS in the top left there. You know, it's not going below 240, which is my monitor refresh rate. Now, if this video did help you whatsoever and you do have a slightly better FPS in game, please do drop a like, please subscribe. It helps me so much. If you haven't joined my Discord already, there's tons of us in there. I don't know what you're doing not being in there yet, but you know, this is the first time for everything, all right? You can join up, join up, stop trolling. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope this helped you out. And I'll catch you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye. Last night was the last time that you fucked with me. Last night was a bad vibe with the drugs in me. I